See, for the most part, we know what we want in life, but how do we go from here to there? Well, there are probably a number of things that we need, but one of the most essential ones is vision. Hello world, my name is Artemis and I welcome you to this channel. This is a space for anybody looking to reinvent their life. How do you get from here to there, from where you are now to where you want to be, from the, the, the position and, and your, your outlook on, on the future to the future? It takes perseverance, it takes hard work, it takes grit, it takes so many other things that are that are so important but I think it starts with vision we cannot get anywhere until we see what it's supposed to look like and that vision may change over time but there's no way that we can leave our state of being right now there's no way that we can reinvent unless we we envision a different future for ourselves I was reading this book by a guy named Scott Harrison uh, the book's called Thirst and here's what he says he says that vision is not what you do today, but what you'll continue doing. What you'll be doing in five years, and 10 years, that is vision. Here's a way to check if you're cut out for the work that you propose to do. Think about the vision, think about all the hard work that, in, that it entails. Think about the, the grind, the sleepless nights, the, the tribulations, the, the, the test of time. Think about all that, not today, not in a week from now, but five years in the future. Do you see yourself doing that work five years from now, 10 years from now. What if it takes 20? See, the problem is that we allow our circumstances, we allow difficulties in life and all these different situations to, to chain us to different anchors that won't let us move freely. And if you're stuck on today's problems, then how can you see past today? How can you see into the future? See, most people, because of their circumstances today, can't see past today. And how do you develop a vision how do you stick to that vision? How do you analyze whether that is something that you can keep doing in five years or 10? So what does this mean? Well, it basically means that there's no way that we can start reinventing our life unless we figure out our vision, unless we work out a complete picture of where we want to be. But, but that vision is something that we need to move forward as we go along. And that means that if we are not committed to doing the work and if we cannot see uh, how to push this vision past the week and past the month and past the, 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 the troubles and past all the different difficult circumstances, then we're in trouble. There is one very important question in all this though. A question that we have to ask ourselves before we get going, before we, we work ourselves up about this vision, about this some, some form of future that we, we want to imagine. What if I do all the work and I persevere and I sacrifice and I continually push my vision forward and I reinvent and I, and I do all these things and I realize it's not what I wanted. I realize that I'm not a better person. I realize that I've, I've hurt many people to get there. Ultimately, it's not about what we want to achieve, but why we want to achieve it. See, if there's no purpose in it, if there's no higher calling, if there's no self-inspection and self-discovery in the process, then we will definitely see a lot of disillusion on the way to where we're going. Vision is definitely a must and uh, hard work is essential to getting anything done. At the end of the day, if we live a life without purpose, it, it won't matter. None of the work that we put in, none of the grind, none of the the sleepless nights and none, not, not even our vision, not even our achievement will matter if we didn't do it with purpose. So Jesus says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul in the process? At this point in my life, I'm learning to explore my own motives. I'm learning to ask why. I'm trying to break my own vision just to check my intention, just to see if I'm in it for, uh, for, for the right reasons. So if we're completely honest with ourselves, which doesn't happen very often, but that's another story. But if we're honest with ourselves, we will find out that a lot of what we do, a lot of what we've done, I know a lot of what I've done was not for the right motives. 
So here's what I've learned. I understand now that God has this ingenious plan to allow us to be beaten down by our own nature so that we can find out what our nature is all about. And when we find out and we discover ourselves, we realize that we're nothing without Him. Things change then. We start finding purpose. We start finding strength. In, in Him and His promises and, and in the work that we need to, to do. And then our vision gets pushed past the problems. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, go check out some of the other content and tell me how you like it. If you totally hate it, then there's a thumbs down button underneath every one of those videos. Go and click that if you hated my videos. But if you like them, and I hope you like them, then I hope this content can help motivate you to take a new look at life to so start reinventing, to start figuring out what your vision is and asking yourself what you want for yourself and why you want it.